Hello and welcome to LA Tips. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going to go through really quickly just some of the key features that can be found in the new L8 V60 release that has come out uh, this week. So we're looking at one of the files that uh, I've used in a couple of console training videos. Uh, and the first thing that you'll notice, well, personally for me, is the quality of rendering and also the FPS has got a major bump. So we've gone from being able to render this for uh, this file in 1080 uh, at about 30 frames to being able to do this now at 4K. And one of those announcements is that we've now got a bit more control over the way that we deal with the visualization. So beam resolution has been slightly tweaked and we can see the difference in beam in the back with these sharpies here we can see that we go from quite a low quality beam to a high quality beam resolution is the same as it always is so we can drop it down as required lux minimum is a totally new feature that has been added in this release of l8 so lux minimum basically allows you to set the minimum lux that you want to be able to see when things are rendered so obviously lower is better because you want to be able to see stuff that's maybe 30 lux but if you need more frames per second you can kick this up through four different presets and we can still get the uh the overall look of it but we we lose some of the uh you know some of the more subtle things and that means that there's less for the computer to worry about so we're currently sitting at a lux minimum of 60 and we're pushing 44 frames with a bunch of moving people happening and a fair amount of lights on stage. Automation, same as it was in previous releases, automation is the resolution or the uh, rendering quality of moving objects and such. So again, nothing has changed there, but you've still got the option and we just go through it. One of the other things that's changed that I'm excited about personally is we see that we've got a couple more buttons down the bottom here. The first one is we can now change reflections. So gone are the days of, especially with a uh, Vectorworks export where you were cut or stuck with one color. What we can do here is we can go through, we can make one black, one fixture silver, one fixture gold, and one fixture white. And we can do these with all the moving lights that are available now. And it means that, uh, you know, when we're doing renders, we can get some really classy sort of shots. So we get this really nice black, which was what the lights default to now, as opposed to this gray color, which is what they were before. But now we've got the two options of, you know, the gold and the white as well. If we go back into DMX, you might notice we've got a bunch of new FP buttons here as well. So the FP buttons relate to paperwork. So if I was to select by double clicking all of my Mistral's TCs and I set them to two, and then I grabbed all of my uh, Levantes and I set them to three. Nothing changes in the way that it looks currently, but if we go into some of the new modes here, let's say plot and map, we can see these colors are represented. So if I now grab all my Vipers and we put them in seven, which we now know is red, we can start getting an idea of what the fixtures are. So when we export paperwork, we can clearly see if we go through and do all our fixture types and we click save for a moment and we jump back into map we can get an idea of what our fixtures are so we can see that we've got 12 eriton magic panels which are in orange we've got pattern two of one threes we've got our vipers in red and we've got our levantes and mistrals in colors as well and that's really great but l8 doesn't really have a paperwork thing so what's really the point of this alex you know what if i want more information well you might notice at the top of the screen we've got id dmx and name and if we turn on id we can see their fixture ids if we turn on dmx we can see their dmx addresses if we turn on name we can even see what they're called so we can see that this is a Levante standard in 31 channel mode. Its fixture ID is 46 and its address is 2461. And of course we can print and export these now. And this is a, uh, this is a major step forward and a feature that I, I know a lot of people have been asking for as well. I will, uh, we'll come out of this. We'll leave our lights in sort of a rainbow color. Going into room, 
we can now see that our DMX channeling things have now got names. So we can see that D1 is now called white, so it just gives you dimmer. We've got D3, which is RGB, so it gives us our, you know, three channel mode. And we've got D4, which is RGBW. So the modes haven't changed, we've just now got lovely names for them. On top of this, we see a couple more symbols now appear in the library. And this is, you know, this is not hit or miss, but this may change or there may be more when you go to look. But for now, we've seen a couple more symbols added and the symbol library is always being expanded. On top of this, if we grab one of our characters for a sec, we can see that we've now got a new person called Speaker. And we can see him here speaking instead of standing around. So these are more for your uh, for your examples when we're when we're using people and we don't want uh, we don't want someone who's you know rocking out on a guitar. We just want someone standing or doing sort of a presentation. There will be future future videos coming up that will explain a couple more of the paperwork features. But we've also now noticed, well I've personally noticed, this has been in previous releases, but many people have been asking about keystrokes. Keystrokes can now be found here, and these are all the keyboard shortcuts that are available if you want to do things. Such as go between the modes, go into uh, full screen mode, change tool, and even print visible objects in the plot or by specification. So I believe that feature is new, but I actually haven't checked with the L8 guys. Other than that, we see the same fixture updates we always have. Uh, a major step forward in terms of render quality, beams, and all that sort of stuff. But this was just a, uh, a really short video on the new features available in, uh, in L8 V60. If you've got any questions, feel free to direct them in the comment section of this, or via the L8 Facebook page, or you can contact them at office at l8.ltd. Of course, my name is Alex Hughes. You can always find me hanging around Facebook, obviously through this YouTube channel, on consoletraining.com, or via a podcast called Lighting Nerds. There you go. It's a bit of a plug for all my things. Thanks for uh, coming and watching, guys.